Welcome to this instructional video. In this video we'll be working with the tab control template. PowerShell Studio provide a series of useful form templates you can choose to build your GUI application and reduce down development time. We are going to take a look at the tab form template. We'll be creating a form to display directory information on the first tab, and the second tab will display process information. To get the tab form template, click on the file menu, new, new form, this open the forms templates window, then from the list look for the tab control form. The form template will be loaded into PowerShell Studio Editor Design Script panel, opening the script section showing the code behind the tab control form. We can click on the design tab to see how the form look like. The forms provide two tabs controls. To start, we can resize the form, click on any of the tab page to select the control. Let's select tab page 1 then click on inside the selected tab. We can proceed to add some Windows controls to the tab page 1 section. Go to the toolbox, then drag drop the rich text box and start resizing the rich text box control. Then, drag drop two button control into the tab page one section. One goes to the top right side and the other goes to the bottom right side of the rich text box one control. Now, drag drop text box control next to the top left side of the button one control, then resize the control. This text box will be used as an input field. Next, select the tap page 2 section to add few more controls. Add a rich text box control, then and resize the control. Add a button control at the bottom right side of the rich text box. Add a text box control to the toward the center of the rich text box control, and resize the text box control. This text box will to be used as an input field to filter processes. Add a label control to the right side of the text box control. The label control identifies the purpose of the text box control. Now, we can proceed to execute the form. This will give us an idea how the form looks with the initial changes. At the same time, it will ask for the form to be saved. The following step is to name the control text property correctly in each of the tab pages. Starting with tab page 1, for each of the controls, change the text property in the property panel found in the bottom right side of the designer script editor. Click on button 1, in the property panel change the text property from button 1 to get folder. Click on button 2, change the text property from button 2 to OK. Click on text box 1, add the text property select or enter folder name. Then, Click on the tab tab page 1 then rename the text property tab page 1 to directory.
Continue with tab page 2 for each of the controls change the text property in the property panel. Click on label 1, in the property panel change the text property from label 1 to filter process. Click on button 3, change the text property from button 2 to OK. Then, click on the tab page 2 then rename the text property tab page 2 to processes. We completed making design changes to the tab pages, and now need to change the form text property from form to sample tab pages form. For now we finished with the form design part, and we can start working on the code behind the controls. Notice on the right side of the designer script panel, you'll see the functions panel, notice that PowerShell Studio tab form template already provides some code behind the controls and even including helper function called update NAV buttons. In this example we don't need to make any changes to this code. Feel free to explore and understand how this code works. Now, out of 8 added controls, only 3 of them will have code. In the directory tab section, the get folder and the OK buttons. In the processes tab section, the OK button. To speed up this demo, I've created some snippets code to add to these controls. The snippets panel can be found on the right side of designer script panel. Just click on the snippets tab. Under the snippets user folder, I created a sample tab form folder containing the code I'm going to use. Let's go back to the form first tab label directory and start adding the code snippets. In the form, I'm going to double click on the get folder button. This will open the button get folder click event script section for that control. In the snippets tab, go to the sample tab form folder, then selecting double click on the button get folder snippet. This will add the code directly into the control event script section. Then, double click on the OK button. This will open the button OK click control event script section for that control. Go back to the snippets tab then selecting double click on the button OK snippet. This will add the code directly into the script section of the control event. Move to the second tab labeled processes. Then, double click on the OK button, and repeat the previous steps to add the snippet code button OK2 to the control event section. Now, we are done with the form, save the form, and run the application. This demo shows the first tab labeled directory which allow you to select a folder or by typing the a folder name. In the second tab labeled processes, pressing the OK button with display the list of processes running in the computer or, enter a text to filter processes. Then, press the OK button again to view the new results. We finally completed our sample tab form application. Feel free to play around with many of the Sapien PowerShell Studio form templates. Thank you for viewing our short instructional video. For more information, don't forget to visit our Sapien Technologies site at sapien.com. Thank you very much.